Well, aspect of the law, aspect of the law, in my view, must be looked at. And um, you see, in any legislation, the, the fundamental position taken would be what we call the object of the bill. Mm -hmm. The object set out what the legislators seek to achieve mm -hmm. for the greater good of the citizenry. So here we are. The proponents of the bill or the sponsors say that they want us to put in place uh, Ghanaian values, family system, and all. In other words, we don't want a man to marry a man. We don't want a woman to marry a woman. And I'm saying that all of us are in agreement that same-sex marriage is not acceptable, it's incompatible with our Ghanaian family values. Mm. However, however, should a person engage in that, what becomes of him or her? If the object of the bill is to reform, correct, transform, change the person's behavior in that direction. And deter as well, those who want to. Well, deter, add it. Should incarceration be the solution? That is where we differ. And I respectfully submit that considering the new sentencing regime as initiated by the judiciary, and same reflecting in our laws, like the, the plea bargaining act mm -hmm. we passed recently, it would be inappropriate to enact a law that would introduce criminal uh, conviction, which conviction will lead to incarceration as the solution. You can you can get it, especially when our prisons, the conditions there, mm, create a fertile ground for that homosexuality to to fertilize. Is it already happening? Yes, from from the report we get from our prisons, it's a matter of fact. Mm. And I ask myself, did did the stakeholders who were pushing for this talk to the prison officers? I spoke to some prison officers. I spoke to a colleague who is, who, who, who is a retired prison officer. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Francis, the way this thing charged the atmosphere, a lot of the MPs were afraid to even express their view. They didn't want to talk. You recall what Mr. Speaker asked when at second reading, mm -hmm. who had any issue. Nobody could speak. But you did? No, not at the time. Okay. I, it wasn't unnecessary. Mm. I needed to speak at consideration. And when I raised the issue of secret ballot, it was actually a call by a lot of colleagues. Because normally at consideration, we use voice votes. Mm -hmm. So they wanted that should Mr. Speaker rule in my favor for a voice uh, for secret ballot, then they will come in and slot in their ballot. Because it's a major issue asking somebody to go to jail because of this. Leader, are you, are you suggesting to me that if this vote on the bill was not voice vote, but secret ballot, we may have seen a different outcome to this bill? I'm not suggesting. I'm stating so in fact, as a is. fact. I'm telling you so. That this bill will not have passed. It's not a suggestion. I'm telling you what it is. Because you see, what's the first rule of nature? Preservation? Self-preservation. Self yes. It was a risk I took. And I said I really don't mind. Because why? If a politician is always thinking about the next election and is all looking at 
issues of conviction. That this is how I feel. I should express it and justify. Mm. I mean, that should be my bona fide, shouldn't it? So I would not want to, out of fear, say, oh, maybe a few people will say, mm, honorable vote against you. So that bill introducing criminal penalties, introducing jail term, will not help the cause of the bill. Because it's, it's, it's already happening in our prisons. It will not help it. Final year, we're there at Insawum. I law school. Every, I don't know whether the system has changed now, but those days, every final year group would go to Insawum as part of our studies. And we had interviews there. They told us. All right? So, I don't think that we achieved that purpose. What is the state of our prison? And now, you, the journalist, Francis, I ask you a direct question. Be honest with me. Look me straight in the eye and be honest with me. This very bill, have you read it? I have. In full? I have. In full? I have. All right. What has been your position on the, on the aspect that seeks to question press freedom? Well, I know there were two amendments that were made to it. Which is? Subsequent to it, in terms of the freedom for us to express our thoughts on it editorially yeah. without any consequences. What, what amendment were made? What was the amendment? Friends, don't, don't go into areas that perhaps you've not paid attention to. What amendment did they make? And what have you done as a media house? Because your fundamental rights as enshrined in the Constitution, press freedom, which freedom got curtailed at a point with criminal libel. And in 2001, Nana Kufado, Attorney General, as he then was, led government decision to repeal it. And we all celebrated that victory that when a media house airs, a claim should lie in a civil action, not a criminal action. Do you realize that that criminal libel has been reintroduced? And I blame all you, all of you in the media. You've not even paid attention with respect. So, you have in the bill mm -hmm. that somebody says that if we are Oba, now Koshe, Bema Tadia, and Atadia, et Tise, or Bema Dianu, Wafum, and say we could jail. Eh, Francis? Mm -hmm. If you go and express an editorial, policy on matters of mm -hmm. same sex, you have committed an offense? I don't think even you guys paid attention to that provision in the bill. So we are where we are because all of us had a certain level of fear. I spoke to a very respected journalist in multimedia and I asked that Osimesi, you that I know I expect you to state a position on this matter. Let's interrogate. Let's debate this. He said, hmm, honorable. Is it that we have been gripped by fear on this matter? For fear of no, let me finish. Mm. He said, honorable. As some in America, no one say a lesbian. No one say a gay. Into a gay and to me Would you also say the same thing? GH1, have you really interrogated this bill? We have. Really? We've done and what? on it. Oh, I don't think. We have. No, I don't I'll think. share the link with you. And, and did you do your critique? We did. What was your critique? We, we, we had a set of gaps in this bill. What were the and gaps? The case for which I want you to see, share. We would, we, would, we would explore this some more later. But the matter today is that the financial judge has indicated no, because, no, no, that there are economic Francis, consequences for Francis, this. Francis, also, the president has said Francis, the that reason why, the reason why I want to pin you the media is because you are the one disseminating. Yes. Okay. You need to get the full fact. Let's take a put away the finance ministry statement. They're all relevant today. I agree. I'm saying that for a moment. Mm -hmm. Let's do you, the media houses in Ghana. Have you put together a team on your own to interrogate so that you can now say, look, this is what we see. Because some of the things in there are driven by emotions with the greatest respect. And I am happy that the law, as it is, is being challenged.
being tested. Or are about to be challenged. Mm. I am happy that it's being challenged. It's the only way we can settle it and bring, give it a peaceful rest. I've had a number of occasions where I had to challenge legislations at the Supreme Court. And yes. in fact, I missed court on this occasion. If I were not a majority leader, I would, have, I would have run to court to deal with this matter. Because I really want to, 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 to make my point. At the end of the day, it is for the good of democracy. You get it? Mm -hmm. But I'm not there. I can only use my limited space As majority in, leader. in parliament mm. and the space I get in the media to express my view. Be that as it may, I pray that the advocates take their, 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 their advocacy to the court for our Supreme Court to have a say on this, whether or not a person in such a situation must suffer um, incarceration. incarceration as a consequence of such action. What about the element to the reactions? US Embassy says, no, this is not right. The IMF says this can drill our IMF program. Already the president has said that once it's being challenged in court, he will await what the decision would be. But you could tell by his utterance that he's not in support of this bill in principle. No, don't, don't, don't take the wind out of his sail. Mm. Don't misread, Mr. President. Of course, I... I, 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 I am inferring I, for what he said. No, but you don't have any art to find his mind's construction. Mm. So let's put that aside. He is a lawyer. And he believes in the rule of law. So when it gets to matters like these, he would want to be armed with the law. Mm. I don't want to go into what IMF has said or what um, uh, US Embassy has said mm. or what the Ministry of Finance has said. Mm. What I want to underscore, in addition to all I've said tonight earlier, mm. is that tolerance is part of our values as a people. Tolerance is part of our values as a people. And in our local settings, there are offenses that when people commit, they are given the opportunity to reform. And families sit down and make sure that the person is not worse off. The situation we find ourselves would be making people worse off by jailing them. And because people fear that if I talk, I may be insulted. If you go to the comment section of so in social media, mm. people would say all manner of things and it will go viral and uh, you'll be trending for wrong reasons. You don't want to express your view? Well, for me, I believe that the law can only be good if it gives opportunity for the offenders to reform. Mm. I hold the view that I can only support the law if it allows for genuine reform, genuine correction, okay. genuine reintegration. And it's the reason why in my amendment, I introduce community service to replace incarceration. But that was not considered. Of course. And that is where, what I was, why I was telling you that colleagues were waiting for me to win the, the, the application I made for secret ballot mm. for, so that they could come in. But uh, they didn't have that opportunity. Mr. Speaker, he didn't even rule on it. He just let it slide. You know, because when I checked the records, I made that application three times. He didn't say no. Neither did he say yes. He did some other thing. I mean, it's part of it, so I understand.